I was approached by a teenage girl. She walks up to me and she says, I really hope this guy isn't getting on my aircraft. He looks like a terrorist. Now, it's maybe two, three weeks after 9-11, so you would expect people to be a little on edge. But this guy was Hispanic, and obviously Hispanic. The only thing that was remotely Middle Eastern about him was that he had dark hair. When I was growing up, I was raised to believe that in my time, or maybe in my lifetime, we'd be able to stamp out, stamp this out with prejudice, hatred, the discrimination against someone because of their height, because they're too short, they're too fat, because of their sexual orientation. But what this said to me when this young girl approaches me is that this will live on from generation to generation with no end in sight. Well, it, it just really made me sad because I started to think, if we can't get rid of this, there's always going to be, be the possibility of another 9-11, maybe even something worse. I don't know, it just made me sad. That was probably the first time I lost faith in people, um, and faith that we could change, that we could change the world, that we could actually make it this a little bit more peaceful, a little bit more better. Well, I don't know, that's um, pretty much just my saddest memory of 9-11.